The Lover A Ballad by Lady Mary Wortley Montague Ne Pierre Pont 1689-1762 At length by so much importunity pressed Take At once the inside of my breast this stupid indifference so often you blame is not owing to nature, to fear, or to shame. I am not as cold as a virgin in lead, nor is Sunday's sermon so strong in my head. I know but too well how time flies along, that we live but few years, and yet fewer are young. But I hate to be cheated and never will buy long years of repentance for moments of joy. Oh, was there a man, but where shall I find good sense and good nature so equally joined? Would value his pleasure, contribute to mine, not meanly would boast, nor would lewdly design, not over severe, yet not stupidly vain, for I would have the power though not give the pain. <laughs> no pedant yet learned, no rakelly gay, or laughing because he has nothing to say. To all my whole sex obliging and free, yet never be fond of any but me. In public preserve the decorum that's just, and show in his eyes he is true to his trust then rarely approach and respectfully bow, but not fulsomely pert, nor yet foppishly low. But when the long hours of public are past, and we meet with champagne and a chicken at last, may every fond pleasure that moment endear, we banish to far both discretion and fear, Forgetting or scorning the airs of the crowd, he may cease to be formal and I to be proud, till lost in the joy we confess that we live, and he may be rude, and yet I may forgive, and that my delight may be solidly fixed, let the friend and the lover be handsomely mixed, in whose tender bosom my soul may confide, whose kindness can soothe me, whose counsel can guide, from such a dear lover as here I describe, no danger should fright me, no millions should bribe, but still this astonishing creature I know, as I long have lived chaste, I will keep myself so. I will never share with a wanton coquette, or be caught by a vain affectation of wit. The toasters and songsters may try all their art, but never shall enter the pass of my heart. I loathe the lewd rake, the dressed foppling despise. Before such pursuers the nice virgin flies. And as of it her sweetly and powerful told, we harden like trees and like rivers grow cold.